Hey, hello guys. This is Karthik from XVRAutomation.com and this is part 7 of our Understanding Appium video series. And in this part, we are going to discuss about Appium GUI, the graphical user interface of Appium server. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 5 and part 6 since this part is going to be a continuation of those two parts. Alright, so Appium GUI for Windows. So Appium has a very sophisticated GUI which does all the desired capabilities setup required for Appium server. Remember in part 4 of this video series, we were discussing about the desired capability of Appium server, desired capability of Android, desired capability of iOS. So this Appium server GUI does all the desired capabilities setup for your Appium server. And as you can see in the screenshot below, it has something called application path, the package, the wait for the package, launch activity, so which activity of your application you're going to launch, wait for the activity, and similarly, are you going to use the browser in that, the intent actions, and all those things. So these things are already available in the Appium's server GUI itself. So let's see how it looks like in uh, Windows. So this is how the Appium server looks like in Windows. And you can see it has only like one, two, three, four, five, six buttons. And also there is a delete button to clear the lock. And you can see there it has a Android setting and it brings up the application that you're gonna choose. And uh, you can select the APK file from here. And also it has the list of details for the particular APK file that you have chosen, this guy. And similarly, uh, it has uh, a launch device. So this will automatically connect to your Android SDK, which is available. So remember, the Android SDK is a separate package. You need to download it from the website. And you can see that it has uh, some of the AVD file for me. So currently, I have uh, one of the AVD files is test, and there are some other uh, AVD file as well. And here it also shows the capability, the platform name that you're going to run. So it is Android, it is not Firefox operating system. And the uh, automation name, it is Appium. Uh, and it also has a device name. So these are all enough for your setting of uh, Appium server. So once the setting is done, you can also see there is a, a general settings which has a server address. So this is your local machines. IP address and it has a port right and this is developer settings which you don't have to worry about almost every time because these node.js binaries has already downloaded for you but if you want to target for some specific node.js version then you can also use that one as well right and here there is an inspector window which we will talk more about it in the upcoming slides and this is going to launch your node server the Appium node server so if you just run this this will start your node servers in the windows and then it will start to listen for the incoming connection from your client code that you are writing from either eclipse or visual studio or whatever client code it is so it will start to listen from there right so this is about the appium server and what are the settings required for setting up the Appium server is not much. All you have to do is just to set the path for your Android SDK. So as you can see in the environment uh, variable of my machine, you can see I have an Android underscore home which points to my Android SDK path. That's it. And then you can set the path for your Android home right here That's it. So these two is more than enough and then you can Set the device and the capabilities as we saw in the settings here The capability for the device and launch device. So these two are enough for running your Appium all right, and then after that so we have already discussed about this general settings and then we have something called as Appium Inspector. So if you see this, it will actually bring you a inspector window. 
and uh, this Appium inspector window has got some refresh button, some display images kind of stuff and there is some detail window which is of course empty and there are two more options like touch and text. So we will discuss more about Appium inspector window in upcoming videos of this video series but as of now just remember this inspector is actually a way that you can identify the controls property of your application under test which is running in the Android physical device or the emulator of your machine right so we'll discuss more about that just don't worry about it so I'm just going to close this and let's flip to Mac operating system and see how the Appium server looks like in Mac so I'm going to my virtual machine and as you can see here the Mac operating system has got a different version of Appium it's little different compared to the one which we saw in the windows and you can see it has uh, two buttons one is for Android and one is for the iOS setting so if you hit the Appium setting it has pretty much the same thing which we saw in the windows version uh, but it has two tabs one is basic and one is advanced and if you hit the advanced you can see it has the Android SDK path and all those things which is pretty much the same which we saw in windows version of Appium and there is one more setting for iOS and it has the Appium path, the bundle ID and all those things which we'll discuss more in upcoming videos of this video series. Alright and there are some settings, this is general settings so this is the server address remember the 127.0.0.1 which we saw there you can set that right here. Alright and then there is a developer setting again same like one which we saw in the Windows version and there is a robot setting which we'll discuss in the upcoming videos of this video series and if you hit the launch again it will start to run your Appium server in Mac operating system. So that's it guys this is all about the Appium server in Windows and iOS operating system and you can see that the Appium is running in my Mac operating system which we installed in previous videos of this video series, right? Thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.